What's going on guys? It's me back again with another video. And today's topic is going to be faith over fear. Now before I even get into this video, let me explain what both of these words are. Okay, faith is a substance of a thing hoped for and an evidence of a thing not yet seen. One more time. Faith is a substance of a thing hoped for and the evidence of a thing not yet seen. Okay? Now, fear, on the other hand, is false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. I'm probably sure, like, y'all probably even heard this, but it's time to understand this today. It's time to utilize some knowledge today. Alright? Now, check this out. The only thing stopping you from where you want to be is fear. Because with faith, you're unrivaled to any circumstance. You're unrivaled to any enemy, any devil. And you know, the devil's going to attack your mind at all times. And that's what causes your doubt and your fear. He put people in front of you with a negative spirit to make you feel like you're not good enough to be around them, which is not true. That's fear. You want to fit in so much when you were born to stand out. And you wonder why you don't have enough faith to move towards your dreams. Let me tell you a little story. When I first started this YouTube channel, the only thing that was holding me back was fear. I was too scared to post a video because I thought that the whole people watching me right now would judge me. But as soon as I posted my first video and I seen, oh, it really wasn't as bad as I thought. Nobody made it bad on me but me. And the only reason you don't have what you want to have is because of you and the fear that you possess inside of you. Fear is a spirit. You need to break that spirit and build up your spirit of faith. It's the same way as exercising. It's just not a physical exercise. You can exercise your faith at all times. You got somebody trying to argue with you? Have faith enough to understand that a wise man don't argue with a fool. That's faith. You got enough faith to understand that I don't have to waste energy on this entity that's bringing me down to their level. You got to look at yourself as a higher self. Sometimes it's you got to look at God inside of yourself. We we're made in God's image for a reason. Maybe God's inside of you. And maybe you don't understand that because you're conditioned and programmed in religion and all these years of believing it's the same old thing. See, I, I believe that God's inside of me. I believe that I, I manifest and I do things strictly and through God. See, I feel like God is everywhere in all things at all times. See, God created the universe. And we live in the universe. And the universe have laws that governs everything that we do. And see, if you're not putting yourself in a position to learn these laws... Actually, that might be my next video is about the 12 laws of the universe so you guys can understand because you guys need to know these type of things. All these, look, everything happens for a reason. Look, you were designed to fear. But the humans that, that reach higher levels learn how to block out fear and utilize faith. David and Goliath. Oh, yeah. Understand that faith can move mountains, but you choose not to have faith because your circumstances or your situation that are so temporary. And see, your body is where you make most of your decisions, but it's your spirit. It's where most of your spirit, or not spirit, but most of your decisions should come from because your body will perish and your spirit has to go somewhere. So you don't take enough time to like truly think from who you are. You think from a animalistic level. You don't think any deeper. You think of what you were taught. You think of what, look, were you born a Christian or were you taught to be a Christian? Understand about that. And see, but the thing is, you think so deeply on what you were taught that you don't, you don't, you don't have any true feeling. Look, do you know that your stomach has brain tissue in it? No, you probably didn't. But you have gut feelings about things. Your, your body lets you know answers that your mind can't. Understand that. Utilize this gift. It's what makes you a human. And see, the biggest part of faith is understanding that you don't have to see it to have it. You don't have to physically see it to have it. 
But if you mentally see it, if you hold it in your mind, you can't hold it in your hands. Do not look at the timeline. Don't worry about the timeline. Don't worry about what or where it comes from. Just allow it. Do your part. Have faith. Keep your energy. Keep the same level of not having nothing until you get everything. Keep the same energy between there. To the next video, guys. I want you guys to show some love. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like this video has helped you at all. 